So welcome to the dark side of the ocean, Yumi. So apparently this girl's released. The body cam shows sobbing 12-year-old Tulsa girl telling cops she fatally stabbed nine-year-old brother. Some dynamics, you know, you know what I'm saying. Hysterically, the girl was hysterical, hist historically crying. 12-year-old girl told the police officer she was in was interested by dynamic shit after she stabbed her nine-year-old brother to death in the Oklahoma home. Newly released body cam for T show. I'm sorry, please, the girl can be heard saying, I really didn't want things to happen like this. I'm going to spend the rest of my life in prison. The girl whose identity has not been released admitted to the officers that she used the knife repeatedly stabbed the nine-year-old boy while he was sleeping in Tulsa. Oh, he was sleeping in Tulsa St. Thomas Square neighborhood shortly before midnight in January. The brother was rushed to hospital but died at 2.30 a.m. In newly released footage, the girl was seen bonding out of the door to meet the police officers and really immediately began apologizing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, she said. Through tears. I don't know what the F happened. Her mother, identified by law and crime as April Lydia, frantically follows the screams at her daughter as, as the young girl begs for forgiveness. There's stab wounds in the chest. You could, you could unalive him. Linda tells her daughter, you better pray to God. He effin lives. The girl tells her mother she loves her and repeatedly apologises. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. It was some dynamic shit. The 12 year old immediately tells police she used a knife on, on her sleeping brother before running up the stairs to her bedroom and tossing the weapon out the Oh, it's premeditated. She then offers to take the officers to the spot where the knife landed, where her brother lies dying inside. Cops inspected the girl, who had self-inflicted cuts across her arms while paramedics rushed her brother Xander to the hospital. He was taken into emergency surgery, but succumbed to his succumbed to his tree stab wounds just over two months later. Accordingly to Linda, the girl had recently been put on medication before the attack, though the type wasn't disclosed. The grieving mother said her daughter never had behavioural issues while until she was put back on the medication. She was off she was for over a year, but she never had any reasons to believe the child was dangerous. In one heartbreaking portion of her interview with the cops, Linda says that her that her now deceased son would never forgive his sister. There was always there will always be issues now between them and the mother said at one point while in custody the girl asks police are the handcuffs necessary? I am a good child. While sitting in the cruiser with the officers, the young girl repeatedly expressed fears that she ruined her life and was going to spend the rest of her life in jail. Tulsa duties, deputy sorry, tried to reassure the horrified middle schooler who at one point prayed to God to please help me. I ruined my life. The girl says in the car, I ruined my whole future. It's all my fault. I just want to wake up from the nightmare. Highly edited police footage does not shine a light on potential motive for the tragic, by the tragic facade. What's the matter? The Tulsa District Attorney Officer could not enclose any um, information about the case, including what charges are launched against the 12-year-old girl because of her age.